it's Cheryl from Silver Sage Studio. And today I'm going to be showing you one stamp three ways, and then I will take the same stamp set and do two more cards in a follow-up video. This is Altenew's Grateful Heart stamp set. It's a layering flowered stamp set. And um, I'm going to be starting here with a very simple card with very basic supplies. So I have black Hero Arts ink, and I'm just using the outline of the flower. And now I'm covering it up with a mask that I made from a full um, adhesive sticky note. And then I'm just going to move that mask over and go ahead and stamp again so that um, I've got a design here. I was going to do the whole background, but decided after I stamped this third time that I kind of liked the way it looked as is. So at this point, I'm kind of checking that out and I'm thinking, I like that. I like the way that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it. And I'm cutting up some gold card stock from um, Ideology and some black Hero Arts card stock. And I'm cutting them into quarter inch strips, making them flags on the end. Now I have dies that do this, but I really wanted this card to use minimal supplies. So um, I'm using a Simon Says Stamp tiny um, sentiments stamps here. And I am um, going to white emboss that in some brand new white embossing powder from Ranger. And so that's what I'm doing here, as you can see. And um, I'm going to go ahead and glue the gold cardstock strip down, and then I'm going to glue the black down. I'm going to um, put um, that aside to let the glue dry. And now I'm taking my black card base, and I'm going to go ahead and glue that front on. And then I'm going to take black Nouveau drops, and I'm going to mess my card up. Um, but I wanted to leave this in because I wanted you to see how I fix it. It's important to remember that you don't have to throw away a card with a little mess up. So I let the Nouveau drops die, dry, excuse me, and then I kind of scraped it off a little bit with the um, stylus and then I'm using um, a sand eraser and then I'm taking a gel pen and just kind of going around that dot to kind of clean up um, and make it look a little bit whiter and my card is done. It's a pretty simple card but I love it. So for this next card, I am stamping onto craft card stock with Tattered Rose Distress Ink. I just want it to be dark enough to let me see where I'm coloring, but not so dark that it's going to show with the final product. I'm going to color using Prismacolored pencils. I'm using a couple shades of yellow and a couple shades of orange for the center of the flower, a few shades of green, and a few shades of pink. In general, I'll color darker towards the center of the flower and lighter as the petals go up because that's where the light will hit the flower. And right now I'm coloring that center, but in a minute here you'll see me coloring the petals and you'll see the different layers. I um, like to kind of um, blend the colors a little bit. So right now I'm doing the pinks in the lightest color. And as you can see, those lines of the stamped image are starting to disappear as I'm coloring. And I'm just going to let this play and play some music. And I hope you enjoy watching this. I'll see you when I'm done coloring.
Pink of Stella pen, and I'm going to just go over the whole flower with this. It's going to make it look like it's darkening the flower, but once it's dry, it'll go back to its regular color. And this pen um, just gives it a nice little shimmer, as you could see there when I held it up to the light. Um, it doesn't seem to affect the pencils at all that I'm using, um, so I think it's fine. And now I'm going to take some Simon Says Stamp stitched frames, and I'm going to cut out that um, picture. And then I'm going to take a white gel pen and just hand write in the word thanks. I'm going over it now just to thicken up the down lines. And just for a little minor embellishment, I'm going to add some little scatters of dots here, I'm trying to keep again my supplies fairly simple for these first couple cards. And now I'm going to go ahead and um, put some adhesive on the back of that front, and then I'm going to glue it to the front of a A2 size card. I like to turn it upside down just to figure out where it's going to go. To the third card. This time I'm going to be using the layering elements. And as you can see here, I'm kind of pointing out the little references they have on the reference sheet to show you how to align the stamps. I'm not going to be using the outline stamp, just the centers. And I'm using Alta News inks on this. I bought these um, sets of pinks and greens so that I have the layering colors that I need. So I'm going to be starting with that first um, solid image of the flower. I'm going to stamp that in the lightest color ink. It's going to take me a couple times to stamp this just because it is a big image and you sometimes just don't get a clean stamp with that. So I'm going to go ahead and do it a second time and see where I'm at. Um, sure do love this Misty. It makes this kind of stamping so much easier. And now I'm lining up the next layer and I'm using that reference sheet that comes with the stamp set to guide me. And I'm lining that up onto the already stamped image, trying to get it just so. And it's a little bit tricky because I can't put my head right over it without blocking the camera. Um, but I think I've got it there. Now I'm taking the middle um, colored pink and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that and um, do it one more time. I'm not going to show you the entire process of this. I'm just going to do the flower and one of the leaves and then I'm going to just cut to the end just because I think you'll get the point eventually. But there is a center that I don't show you of the um, the stems of the flower. So, um, sorry, not the stems, the center of the flower in yellow that I don't show you stamping. But here I'm lining up the final flower layer and I'm going to use the very darkest pink that came in the set and ink that up. Now I avoided layering stamps for the longest time because I didn't have lots of colors of one shade of ink. I would have one pink, one blue, that sort of thing. Um, but buying these Altenew inks that come together for the purpose of layering stamps, I think was the perfect solution because they're smaller, they're a much more affordable price point. And if you don't already have a large ink collection, I really recommend that you check those out. Um, those, as well as all other supplies, will be listed in the description for this video. So now you can see I've moved on to the leaves. I did not use the lightest ink color on this particular leaf just because that part actually wasn't going to show on the um, on this image because of how I stamped it, it would have actually been the um, on the the mask. So um, I'm going ahead and lining up the next leaf image. I'm going to do multiple leaves, but I'm going to kind of cut out here pretty soon. And yeah, here we are. So um, I went ahead and I'm going to 
die cut this with these rounded cornered frame dies. And I realized I kind of stamped that flower crooked, and so I cut it so that it would be straighter, taking it out of that die right now. And then I'm going to die cut a piece of black cardstock, Hero Arts black cardstock, using the same die set but with a slightly larger die so that it frames it. These are great dies, but they're not really proportionate to A2 cards, and you'll see that when I put it on the final, but I just work with it. I like it either way. Um, it's getting a little washed out here, my apologies. And there we go. So that's the final card um, image. I'm going to take these three hugs dies. I'm going to glue them together just to give them a little bit of oomph to them. And then I'll be gluing those to the card. I really like this die. I love this font. And I think hugs can be used for so many different occasions. Um, and I like to, to keep them around for friends who are in need. So here's my background. And I'm just going to go ahead and take that card front and glue it onto the black background. Having some problems with my tape runner there. And going to glue that baby down. And then glue the hug sentiment down on there as well. Here I'm just kind of trying to see where I want to place it and I decide I don't want to cover up the yellow. Um, it's going to go slightly down on the left a little bit and there we go. I'm using Tombow Mono um, Multi Glue. I really love that glue. It gives a very nice fine line. I'm just putting something heavy on it to get that glued down. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this on the front of a cardstock, um, or my final card, using um, this tape to bump it up a little bit, give it some dimension, and then when I put this onto the actual card, you'll see that there's it, it's not proportionate. <laughs> These dies aren't, so there's going to be more um, space on the sides than on the top and the bottom, but I'm okay with that. Um, I think there are some fun things you can do with that if you wanted to. And um, now I'm taking my Wink Estella pen and I'm going to go over the hugs with that just to give it a little bit of shimmer. I use this product a lot, as you can see. And now I'm going to be putting on here some Studio Katia gems. I really love these. They're clear and they give a nice dimension and sparkle to the card and they're pretty easy to put on if you have one of these gem pickers like I have here. You can get these in the jewelry section of a craft store. Of course you can always get it from Simon Says Stamp or any other um, card making supply company like that online as well. And having some problems with this one getting away from me. <laughs> and getting that final one glued on here. And there's my final card. I hope you all enjoyed watching today. And I had a lot of fun making these three cards. Don't forget to come back next week. You'll see two more designs using the same stamp set. Happy crafting.